Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls, are having an amazing Saturn's Day. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. Uh, if you are new here, welcome, beloveds. I will that the reading, the messages that come through in this reading resonate for you. I will that my energy vibes with yours, that you enjoy the way that I read. Um, if you are returning, beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If my readings does not apply, just let it fly. I do not try to force a story to be your story. My readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you, whenever the video popped up in your feed, well, that was divine timing and in divine order that it has done so. Um, the way that I read and do things on my side of the planet is uh, I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clear audience. So you will hear me referencing songs, um, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what may be coming out with the tower cards and it all blends very beautifully if I do say so myself so let's proceed with the read see what's coming and going out going on with the beautiful Aquarius energy and then we're gonna you know do some uh, house cleaning first and foremost I shape so let's go ahead I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So let's tap in. Let's see first and foremost what's playing on the playlist, what time it is. So it's 8.36. Oh, I don't turn my flashlight on. So it's 8.36 on the clock. I hope you can see that 836 can you see that maybe my screen is a little too bright let me turn it down a notch turn it down now we do it up so 836 836 reduces to 8 so a lot of you all could be in an energy where you could be manifesting um, I also feel strength, strong. I feel, you know, braving your light type of energy. I feel like you all are like, you know, pushing full steam ahead towards a goal. Maybe you're working on some sort of specific project. Um, I'm getting like the eight of pentacles. You got your like, you're, you're, you're in focus mode. You, you got your eyes on a prize. You've been working towards some particular goal or some sort of endeavor. And I feel like, you know, for you to get to the eight of pentacles all on your own, that shows the dedication, the drive, the willpower, the focus. Focus, um, just the leadership skills. We got one new beginning on the bottom of the deck, so that's beautiful. So a lot of you all, you have a very beautiful new beginning, a fresh start um, that is, you know, rapidly approaching. You're like on the precipice of this new start. So all of that hard work I was picking up on, it's going to pay off, and it's leading to some sort of amazing new beginning. Like this is like a beautiful gift from spirit. It's like putting pushing that reset button, and it could be in relation to love because um, we have this love here on the split so some of you all have a new love option or a new love you know a new love interest that could be entering into your life this is like could be a past life love perhaps or someone from your past um, this could be someone returning from the past but six is associated with like the lovers so this is a very sacred union a very divine connection um, this is like harmony this is like you know like-mindedness this is like you know two people that are equally yoked you know this is two people that you know, have that um, equal give and take even. But there's a new beginning. So this could be someone from your past that there's some sort of opportunity to reconcile um, Aquarius. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in beautiful energy of love and light. What's coming in from my beautiful Aquarius? We have a message of love and a message of light. Who's playing? 
What what is playing right now? I don't hear no music. What it, what it do? What it do? What it do? Can we hear some music? All right, so we have Dave East. This is called Chills. So whoever this is, this is somebody that's going to like, you're going to have the chills. You're going to have like, you know, some of y'all might have the even the like them butterflies. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is somebody that's going to give you the butterflies. I feel like someone's name could be Dave. They could live east of you. You know, they could live on the east side. You know, I'm hearing, um, you know, on the east coast. Divine spirit of love and life. Life. I said life. Divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in from my beautiful Aquarius? They have a message of love and a message of light. Maybe somebody gave someone a cold shoulder in the past. So we got a card that just kind of jumped out. So whenever the jumpers take effect, I, I take them. So this is your overall energy. We got a relationship change, beloveds. So this is the number 56. 56 reduces to 11. And we know that's one half of 11, 11. So someone is making a decision. Um, you know, I was picking up like butterflies, even though it says chills. Sometimes when you get those butterflies, you kind of like, you know, you, you get them like chills, that effect of chills. So maybe somebody's going to give you like, this is almost like that energy of like, you know, when you had a crush on somebody or you liked somebody, but someone's coming in not to play, you know, um, there's a decision. I feel like someone's choosing you. Uh, someone's choosing to come your way. Um, this is someone perhaps that, uh, also maybe someone gave someone the cold shoulder in the past. Um, maybe someone walked away because I'm hearing chill and I'm, I just keep hearing cold shoulder because when you get the chills, you're cold. Um, and so with relationship change, maybe someone walked away, someone treated you very coldly. You know, maybe it's not like a new love situation, but I did have that love and then we had that that new beginning. So someone could be walking away from a relationship that's kind of stuck and stagnant to come towards you. Cause I, with this 56 that reduces to 11, that's one half of the 11, 11, which is the twin flame union, but it also reduces to two. So two is to me about duality, choices, decisions, movements. So someone is choosing, um, a the direction. So they could be leaving a partnership. You know, they could be leaving something to come towards you. Um, you know, someone may perceive another person as being very cold. Um, you know, with the book of David, which is the name of the album, uh, books always, you know, indicate that there's been some sort of learning, some lessons, some knowledge. Let me show you again. It says book of David right there. Can you even see it? Oh, there it is. Book of David. Someone's name could be Dave. Like I said, Dave, David. Um, but yeah, with this 6-6 six, six healing, so someone, okay, now I see, someone could have left someone, someone made a decision in the past, treated someone cold, treated someone, I'm hearing, they was ice cold, beloved, like they was cold, and now someone, you know, now it's like there's been some healing after being mistreated, after being, you know, feeling almost devalued, um, you know, someone could have left the connection, the relationship, uh, left the home, um, left that partnership to go in a different direction. They made a decision to go in a completely different direction. And someone felt that coldness, felt, you know, that iciness from a person. Um, we have Al Green and it says for the good times. So someone is perhaps reflecting because this 6-6 six, six reduces to 12. 12 is associated with like the hangman. So someone could be reflecting back on those good times um, for the good times. Like someone is reflecting on the good times from the past, like seeing something with a completely different lens, uh, from a different perspective, uh, from a completely different vantage point. And what they're seeing is like, dang, they they, they treated someone cold, ice cold. Um, and, and now they may see you, this could be you that has treated someone cold or someone could have treated you cold in the past. But six, six double numbers always tell me that not only is that your energy, but that's the person you're attracting. And so you both are in an energy where you're being very mindful to trust your intuition when it comes to moving forward, when it comes to taking action, because I'm getting like the six of swords, like you move with the intention to create a safe space, a safe haven to protect your boundaries. And it's because you've been hurt in the past. This 12 reduces to three three of swords you're healing from past pains hurt wounds and traumas as is someone that you're attracting because we are about to pull the card for the person you're attracting Aquarius so there's been a lot of healing maybe there's been a lot of reflecting maybe you're reflecting on how cold you treated someone from your past or maybe there's just the sense of realization that you've um 
were dealing with someone that was very cold to you. They weren't very uh, loving. There was not a lot of reciprocity, perhaps. Uh, but I do feel like now, um, with for the good times, there's a reflection. Someone's reflecting back and looking back at, wow, um, you know, that Aquarius really wasn't as bad as I you know, made them out to be because maybe wherever they are or where, wherever they ended up, it was, it was cold. It wasn't as much love. There wasn't as much, um, nurturing affection, tender love and care that maybe you provided Aquarius, but we have this, this energy of like someone's healing, um, or someone is going through that process of healing. When you heal that self, you learn to love that self. And when you love that self, you then know that self. And that's why they're you like in that, you know, that, that sacrificial position that spirit will put you in. Uh, so that you can see things, not just from your vantage, po uh, vantage point, but from that of another person. So that's that's the energy someone is in. And with Al Green, green is sticking out. That's the heart chakra. Um, the heart chakra is really about opening up the heart, um, being more emotive, being more vulnerable, but also learning and discovering your love language. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in the um, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with, an, with a Libra. Maybe you have Libra in your chart. Divine Spirit of Love and light. Let's see who is this person? Our beautiful Aquarius are attracting to them. They have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Who is this person? My beautiful Aquarius are attracting to them. May have a message of love and a message of light. I'm hearing pride, proud. So this is someone that's very proud. And if you look closely, I just peeped this. The name of the album. Look what it says. I'm still in love with you. So someone realizes, like I said, that heart is open because I was that green was just sticking out to me. So someone's realizing they're still in love with you. This could be someone that walked away, like I said, broke up with you, broke up, you know, because now they're realizing you're like, you know, that you're, you're the other half, their better half. I just saw 1111 on the clock. So this is your twin flame. I saw 1156. That's 1111. So this is your tw twin flame. And this is they could have been runner chaser is what I'm hearing. Someone was playing hard to get. What's that song? I'm hearing that old 90s song. She's playing hard to get. Uh, 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 uh. So we have personal growth. See, somebody's been growing. So whoever this is, they've been growing. They've been learning, man. They've been learning. This is someone who's definitely, you know, they understand now your boundaries. Because with this 56 and the 7, that's 9. You know, so they've been in hermit mode. They've been really, like, doing their due diligence to reflect, to assess, to, you know, self analyze you know and they're seeing like dang they was playing hard to get they was playing games and also more importantly they're realizing how much of a wish fulfillment you are and maybe now you have boundaries because you love yourself you know what i'm saying you you self-love makes you more attractive but you also may have established boundaries because of your love of self aquarius but whoever this person is you're attracting um they have wisened up you know, they've taken that time to do their due diligence to 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 learn. You know, this is not somebody who is going to come in and waste your time if they do um, choose to come towards you. Because with personal growth, this is the seven, which is associated with that crown chakra. So they've received a lot of divine downloads. They've been speaking to their angels, ancestors. Um, they've definitely been seeing a lot of signs, synchronicities. Uh, this is someone very psychic. They could also think about you a lot. But they've learned to kind of like muster up that, that strength that courage um and i do feel like they're going to be very assertive they're going to come in assertively uh, because maybe in the past they held back maybe in the past i was just getting like you know maybe very pompous maybe thinking that you know th it's all about them only to discover no uh we got self-love so how they feel about you is you love yourself. And like I said, self-love makes you more attractive. But you also are teaching this person. You're teaching this person whether you realize it or not. Because they are watching you. You know, with this seven, I'm just getting a sense of like, you know, they could be dreaming about you a lot. They could be thinking about you a lot. And when you're thinking and dreaming of someone, then that's going to kind of like, you know, encourage you to kind of investigate. To go see what's going on with that person. 14, 14 on the clock, that's 5, 5. So whenever I see, you know, mirrored numbers, I always feel like that's the energy of you and the person you're attracting. So 5 is associated with the throat chakra. So this is someone that desires to communicate. But I also feel a sense that there's no communication because there's been some sort of ending. Some things come to an end, a wrap. I feel something came full circle. Maybe there was an argument. Maybe there was something that came to light. And it ended very, um, it, it, it ended in a way where there was a lot of pain. Um, 
And so I feel like, you know, that's why this person is desiring to have some sort of fresh start to maybe even extend an olive branch to apologize, perhaps. But they see how much you love yourself. And the 61 reduces to seven. And remember, I told you, you know, that this is like whenever you're mirroring, that means the both of you are doing the work. So they're trying to mirror in your energy because they see you love yourself. You This is what you've learned to do in the process of, you know process of elimination you know eliminating and purging people places things that do not uh serve your highest good aquarius and so this is how they see you they see that you love yourself when you love thyself that means that you've taken the time to heal thyself and you when you love thyself that means you also know thyself to know who to establish these boundaries with and who not to allow to overstep the boundaries uh to not settle we have never dreamed you'd leave in summer so you could have walked away from this person uh this is stevie wonder um, so this is someone who wonders about you, dreams about you, thinks about you, and you walked away from them, and it was a sign of self-love. So you you could have moved away. There could be distance, uh, but I do feel like this person feels you're like their twin flame, the yin to their yang. We have um, uh, this two and the seven reduces to nine, and this nine and the seven. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is seven. So this is that person that does want to take action towards you um, because the seven is the chariot in traditional tarot. Uh, so I do feel like, you know, perhaps this person now realizes like all the seeds that you have planted, all the times you have, you know, attempted to like cultivate and nurture that relationship to build that relationship. Um, they didn't really make the effort. They didn't match your energy. Um, they didn't reciprocate perhaps Aquarius. So like, with I never dreamed you'd leave in summer you could have like chucked up the deuces and the train is going by so part of so that's like a sign that yeah you create you could have moved away you could have moved away from this person so um how does this person Aquarius is attracting to them feel about Aquarius may I have a message of love and a message of light beautiful spirit how does this person our beautiful Aquarius is attracting to them feel about Aquarius see that what did I say they want a fresh start and they feel very passionate about you. They feel fire, desire. You know, this is a very felicious number. Even if you're feminine energy, it's like, you know, or masculine energy, it doesn't matter. You know, the energy is the energy. It doesn't matter the gender. Um, but they feel a lot of passion, a lot of fire, desire. I just saw 1717, 17, which is 88, 8, which is 16, that's 7. So they definitely are going to take action. They're going to travel to see you. I definitely feel like they're going to move with intention. Like they're going to be very intentional. They're going to be very apologetic. As I said, they may extend an olive branch because I'm getting like an olive branch from this. I'm getting like the ace of wands. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like passion, fire, desire. Um, they've been making the changes. This came out in the... Um, in the Libra reading, uh, this moderations for the overall energy. So someone realizes like they got they've had some sort of change of heart, you know, and the change of heart was by taking the time perhaps to go seek wise counsel, advice from an elder, reading uh, spiritual materials, doing research, learning, growing, um, going to a pastor, preacher, someone that has knowledge, like soaking up wisdom, knowledge, gain. This is that type of energy. So they've making you know behind the scenes whether you realize this or not uh with what's hidden in the energy is they are really uh working on themselves the green is associated with the heart chakra and this red is associated with the root and that base um is like you know it's about dealing with the root cause of the issue so maybe someone couldn't give you something that they didn't um have to offer meaning they didn't know what love was so they had to go back to the root cause and try to understand like why am i so afraid to emote or to express my feelings or to develop strong loving nurturing relationships like why do I find that difficult this could be the energy of the person you're attracting or your energy Aquarius but I feel like someone made a very uh, mindful decision was very mindful to go and do that inner work to heal at a soul level we got uh, LL Cool J this is called lounging and so, you know, maybe someone was, um, you know, just kind of like uh, in that hermit mode, like I said, lounging in the house, in the crib, kind of chilling um, with total. This is featuring total. I do feel like someone has had a total change of heart uh, because, as I said, this green, this is a green card. I know with the color of the room, you can't really see the car, the colors on the cards, uh, but this is moderation, moderation 
absolutely is the same as change. So someone's having a change of heart, uh, total change of the heart. Uh, they could just be chilling in the house, lounging in the crib, um, very just like very bored, you know, just dissatisfied, um, just, you know, that kind of energy. And so like, they're really trying to, uh, figure out a way to perhaps maybe take action and come towards you. So what's hidden in the energy for Aquarius? This could be your energy as well. Remember just do the switcheroo. It could be your energy or the other person's. This is general readings. So, um, what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Aquarius spirit? I have a message of love and a message of light. What's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Aquarius so we got nine. Someone's wrapping up a cycle. Oh, wow. You got both of your messages here. So let's tap in. So we got 11 individuality. There goes the 11. So there was definitely some um, some karma. Uh, and maybe there was codependency because whenever individuality, this is like spirit is teaching you, you got to stand, you know, erect, stand on your own, you know. So maybe there was some, you know, codependency issues and maybe there was a choice, a need to to um, choose yourself, you know, um, prioritize you, put you first. Uh, you know, when you are independent, that means you have the ability to stand alone, uh, to be self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, and your independence is absolutely uh, the foundation of your happiness, your peace, your joy, your security, your stability. So individuality could have been, you know, the, the reason um, why perhaps... You know, this connection did not take off at the time. Maybe someone was just real lazy because with lounging, like maybe someone did not put in the work and the effort, you know, like they weren't as, um, you know, they weren't as, um, um, you know, they weren't as, uh, I just, just, they didn't reciprocate as much. Let's just say it like that. So what's hidden in the energy, we have completion. So someone could have also been, you know, in a karmic situation or someone could have been dealing with karma. But I do feel like that that nine is just, again, you know, hermit, you know, being in that hermit mode, taking that time. That's what I was saying here with the 56, which is the two and the seven is like being in that hermit mode to work on the self, self-assess. Uh, and now that that cycle is completing. Um, it's completing because now that, you know, that aha moment, maybe someone has realized um you know, the direction in which they wish to go. Because uh, if you think about the hermit, uh, if you look at the traditional tarot, he's sitting in a cave because he knows the answers he seeks are found within, not, you know, external to anyone else. Um, you know, I mean, not ex in the outside world. So maybe after seeking wise counsel from the elders, one sits with themselves, meditate, and then they make their decision. And once they come to that conclusion as to what they need to do, they're going to go in that perspective direction. But there is some sort of completion of a cycle, wrapping up some sort of completion of a cycle. Um, and when you do that, you, you they're going to take that leap. Uh, we have Nati Dread here uh, by Bob Marley. So, you know, someone could be a Rasta, someone could have locks, you could be dealing with someone who has locks, someone who could be named Bob, maybe their last first middle uh, last name is named uh, Bob or Marley, maybe this is someone's favorite um, artist, maybe someone really loves Bob Marley or listens to Bob Marley a lot, or maybe someone just smokes a lot of Bob, but we have eight manifestation. So I feel like there's some wish fulfillment that's coming true. Um, this is like, you know, infinite supply I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So it's like because someone has wrapped up a cycle and did things the right way, it's like now there's a wish that's fulfilled. And if you think about the, the hermit, um, he's in a cave and in that lantern is a star. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this eight is for me because the star is the 17th card, but 17 reduces to eight. And eight always gives me wish fulfillment because this is like the infinity symbol sideways. So I always feel like infinite supply, wish fulfillment, abundance, prosperity. But it's something you've manifested that's coming in um, and I feel like you know some of you all don't even realize that this is coming in but I do feel like this is a, a, a gift you know from spirit um, and this could be you know anything you're manifesting love you could be manifesting a new opportunity you could be manifesting um, success or blessings in your life in your career so let's tap in beloved so let's see what we got coming in going out going on for my beautiful Aquarius and then we're going to wrap it up so we have solitude. There goes that hermit that I was talking about. And we have harmony, love. You know what I'm talking about? This is like the lovers. Look at the energy these two people are emitting. That green light, you know, that green glow deals with the heart chakra. So these are two people 
that this is synergy chemistry this is a union a love partnership someone has learned that you are the star see that star right there so that's beautiful and i always get a sense of like someone's been learning someone's been learning books always denote learning wise dome you know this is someone coming in to apply the knowledge but this is absolutely someone they could be agonizing stressing over this but there is a victory ahead spirit is saying you know move with vigor move with confidence because there's a breakthrough there's a victory someone has had a wake-up call if they were stuck in this mental con mentally conflicted place agonizing stressing you know this is like ruminating and pining and overthinking then they finally have that epiphanic moment it's like something some sort of download comes through from spirit and spirit gives them that wake-up call you know what i'm talking about so that's beautiful whatever confusion they're in see that look at that mental conflict and they have that that epiphany you know and it's like a wake-up call it literally is like a wake-up call divine spirit 11 light let me get a message for my beautiful aquarius and then we're going to roll out Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What's coming in for my beautiful Aquarius? Woo! Come on now, beloveds. What's happening? Cards is all over the world. They just falling everywhere. All right, so this card is sideways, so I'm going to take these two. First, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have on the bottom of the deck, we have Triumph. So that's the chariot. So this, someone is definitely triumphantly moving forward, coming in to stake their claim, beloved. They coming in the state they claim. They're not playing no games. Triumph. They coming in triumphantly. Confidently, I'm hearing as well. And look at that. Eight. Accelerated motion. Infinite supply. This wish is coming true. And I feel like someone realizes you're their wish fulfillment. Because we got this eight and this 56. So they feel like you fulfill them. I'm getting like the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? This 56 is two and this eight is you know what I'm saying? That's like 10. So this is someone that definitely realizes like you're the wish fulfillment. They could see themselves, you know, creating, you know, that 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 family, that building, that legacy. You're like a rock to them. You know, this is someone you obviously have history with because I do see these mountains. You know, maybe that's just denoting the karmic, you know, debt that they have paid off. And now they could see things very clearly. But you are a star, a wish fulfillment, a blessing. This is someone who has been manifesting you. This could be you manifesting someone or calling in, sending up prayers and petitions, having, you know, walking in faith. And, you know, maybe some of y'all are calling in love. Maybe some of y'all are asking the divine for a new love ship. 27, 27 on the clock. That's nine. Nine is the highest number of change. This is happening. This is going to happen for you all. And we have um, Dion Warwick and Luther Vandross. And this is called How Many Times um, Can We Say Goodbye? So this is someone from your past, you know, and uh, this could be someone that, like I said, you may have walked away from them because maybe they were not um, reciprocating. Uh, maybe they walked away from you, uh, but there was someone that was being very cold um, in the connection, very distant. We have this uh, change here. I mean, um, moving on. And this is the number six and we have personal growth. So see that. So whoever that person was, I feel like they're coming out of a dark period as well. They could have been in a karmic relationship that had them completely anchored, stuck. It could have been very codependent, which is why individuality is here. So they're moving out of that dark period to come towards you for victory. If you look, he's holding like a timepiece, which is really, you know, um, indicative of like you know divine timing so this person has had some time while they've been on this voyage while they've been on this spiritual journey Aquarius to realize like if you're going through hell keep going and they were wherever they were it was very codependent it was a very dark connection they weren't happy but they grew you know there's growing pains there and in that experience they've learned you know who you are and how special you are to them this person is rushing towards you because now they realize you're the one. You know what I'm talking about? With how many times do you know do we have to say goodbye? This could have been someone who absolutely could have left you, you know, not once, you know, maybe you felt abandoned, rejected, or whatever, um, a couple of times. But this person is now kind of almost like 
coming in, as I said, to stake their claim because this person wants a new beginning or this could just speak to how they see you very triumphant, very successful, just very, um, you know, a confident and assertive in going after whatever you want with vigor, um, you know, very determined. This is a beautiful energy. You could be dealing with someone named uh, Michael or Quincy because we have Nas playing Michael and Quincy. Um, and this is from the... Um, King's Disease album, so this could be a masculine energy, as I said, that that one is very masculine. Maybe some of you feminine energies have been in a very masculine energy, but this is also just speaking to how someone is just very attractive to you, you know, attracted to you. Uh, 11, 11 on the clock, this is that twin flame. They coming in, baby. They coming in because this seven... And this one reduces to eight. They see you as the wish fulfillment. Remember, we had that accelerated motion. And that's how he's moving with a force, like I said, and with accelerated motion, like, like with vigor. He's not coming. He's not coming to play or to waste time. Like this is how he feels. Very, very passionate. They want this new beginning. They want to stake their claim, as I said. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is this one here for my beautiful Aquarius? May I have a message of love and light. That card flew out. So they are coming in, baby. Woo! And we have patience and planning. See that? So they're being very strategic because now they know, you know, your worth and value. You know, this still reduces to eight. So they've been patiently, you know, made that maybe they've been planning this. You know, they're they're like sitting behind the scenes, being very strategic, you know, really plotting. You know, to to uh, come towards you, uh, but this is someone who's is is really uh, coming in intentionally. Uh, this is also someone building up that strength and courage because they know how strong you are with this two sacral. This is what's hidden in the energy. So someone is really um, moving to the beat of their drum. They're making a decision based off how they feel and not so much how the other. And I feel like with this 11, because this 9 and this 2, it's like this person knows now. Uh, who you are they know you know what's hidden is like you know when they wrapped up that karmic cycle and moved on from that karmic and broke free from this this codependency uh they are starting to realize with that two and nine that they were not moving to the beat of their drum they have to do what's going to make them happy so this two and nine that that's 11 we just saw that 11 11 this is your twin flame but this is also someone who's choosing you they're making that decision 11 breaks down to two so they're making the choice to come towards you that's why they're moving on moving away from whoever whatever uh situation they were in to come towards you aquarius so what's hidden in the energy you may have a message of love and light and then we're going to wrap it up why is this um, nine completion here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Aquarius spirit? May I have a message of love and light. Oh, wow. Y'all got a bunch of messages. So these cards flipped over. And we have on the bottom of the deck. See that? I can't make this up. They're choosing you. They're coming towards you. It says positive movements forward. So they're leaving something, someone behind to come towards you because they're choosing to wrap that cycle up. And that 9 and 8 reduces to six, uh, 17, which reduces to 8. They're going towards their dream, their wish fulfillment. You know, they're making a decision, a conscious decision, in, in fact. And they're mustering up the strength and the courage to do so. We got SWV, always on my mind plane. So this person thinks of you, dreams of you day and night, all the time. You're thinking of you. Maybe they're always thinking of how to take action or what to say or how to come towards you, how to strategize this plan. There's three solar plexes. That's, that's like the second brain. So they're really trusting their intuition um, to guide them. They're trusting their intuition. They're using discernment. They're using that inner wisdom and knowledge, you know, to make that decision to go towards you. Because three is associated, like I said, um, you know, that's the, the divine feminine in uh, traditional tarot as well. So that's a beautiful, regal, royal, empress energy. So you can't come in there half-assing it. You know, that's why, you know, they could have been up in their head stressing because this is how they see you. You're always on their mind. They find you very attractive, very beautiful. You know what I'm talking about? This is someone that's very attracted to you. And nine and three still reduces to three because it's 12, which reduces to three. So this could be that person, that same person that hurt you, which is why they could be in that energy, you know, where they're kind of like agonizing a little bit over this situation. So we have um, obstacles and challenges. So there may have been some things that were going on behind the scenes, maybe other suitors, maybe other people, other competition. Maybe there was a lot of, you know, 
difficult circumstances that this person could be dealing with maybe they're doing their uh you know that dark night of the soul work dealing with their shadow side um but this is you know this is them attempting to find balance you know what i'm talking about because this is what they want in the outcome that six harmony came out this is beautiful this is beautiful this is what they are working so diligently on is to acquire this 34 34 i just saw which is 7 7 that reduces to 14 which reduces to 5 so this is all happening in divine time and this person is going to express how they feel this person loves you and spirit is saying this is absolutely going to materialize uh because this person is really doing that shadow work they're working behind the scenes because this is what's hidden you know, what's hidden is they are dealing with a lot of hurdles. There's a lot of things, you know, but they are going to walk away. Because remember what we saw here, you know, that dark night of the soul journey. Remember what I said, when you're going through hell, keep going. That's what this person did. They're holding a time piece, a time clock, which denotes, you know, divine timing as well. But if you look here... They're doing their shadow work. They're doing their due diligence. Nine is the highest number of change. This 18 is showing that they're taking the time to identify the things that they need to change. You know, they also see you as someone, um, you know, that mirrors their energy. You know, they look at you as the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin. And there are some challenges ahead. But if you look closely, uh, spirit is leading, you know, lighting the path for them so that they do not get, you know, they don't, that they don't stumble you know, on this journey, you know, so it's like these, this is the light that they need to be able to see the challenges that are ahead, that are ahead. And that's how they're able to make that decision uh, by just standing in their power, you know, standing in their power um, and being courageous and, and using wise dome uh, because now they know like something is wrapping up. You know, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, Aquarius. And this is that person that does love you. This is that person that does see you as the yin to their yang. We saw this in the very beginning of the reading. And for this card to come out is confirmation, beloveds. This is your beautiful reading. So this is what you all have been manifesting. This is what someone could be manifesting. But someone's mustering up the strength to come towards you. But this is your beautiful reading. I Thank you all for tuning and tapping in Aquarius. Um, if you found that the messages resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. If you feel so inclined, definitely hit the uh, bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Um, and if you are returning, you already know what it is. But love is love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big old fat ashe. Peace.